plastic pollution is the biggest problem and one of the best way to reduce it is to recycle it. A domestic startup known as Thani came up with an innovative idea to create zero waste shoes that are made from upcycled plastic bags, plastic bottles and recycled rubbers. Hello everyone, this is Prashti Tiwari for SME Futures and today we are interacting with the founder of Thailing, Ashim Hawe, to know what inspired him to start such a thoughtful brand at a very young age. Hi, I'm Ashay Bhave. I'm the CEO and creative director of Thaley. Thaley is a vegan footwear brand where we create uh, sneakers from waste plastic bags and plastic bottles. Um, we've invented a new material that's called Thaley Tex. Uh, it's a leather replacement, but it's made entirely out of waste plastic bags without the use of any chemicals. So I studied footwear design first in New York and then I studied um, entrepreneurship in, uh, in Dubai. There was a pitch competition in our university and um, I, I took this idea, I made a whole business plan around it, I applied for the competition. So I ended up winning the competition and um, I, one of the judges at the competition was Matteo Bofa. Uh, he came on board as um, the co-founder and the first investor and that's how Thaley started. To me, sustainability is to have as low of an impact on the environment as possible. You know, you should also think of the end of life cycle. You know, what happens to the product after it's been used. It could either be biodegradable, it could be recyclable. The reason why I got into sneakers was because of this one uh, producer, rapper, artist. Uh, he does a lot of things, he's called Pharrell Williams. So yeah, he, he started out as a producer and then um, he launched his own clothing brand, uh, his own sneaker brand, uh, a bunch of stuff. And then currently he's the creative director for Louis Vuitton. Yeah, he's probably my biggest inspiration. I've, I've sort of modeled my life after Pharrell Williams. The first step of the manufacturing process is to procure the waste plastic bags. So we do that from, uh, you know, we work with a waste management plant in Gurgaon and then now also in Delhi. And um, we start with sanitization of the plastic bags. We segregate them according to color. Um, and then we process them into this um, Thaletex fabric. And uh, we've developed specialized machinery to do, do so. And then this fabric is sent to Agra uh, to the shoe factory that we work with, Caps Overseas. So they take the fabric and then they make the, you know, they, they use a few other components. All of them are sustainable and recycled. And then they assemble them, they put it together basically, package it and you have the final shoe and then um, then it's sent back to us um, in Delhi and we ship them from here, from our warehouse. Um, so, you know, they last just like any other shoe. Uh, you know, if you put them on or if you look at them, you can't really tell that they're made from recycled materials at all, they don't feel like it, you know, that was the goal that it should function and look like a regular sneaker. Oh, uh, we recycled about 150,000 plastic bags, might be 200,000 by now actually, and uh, about similar amount of around 150,000 plastic bottles. So the shoe itself, we've designed it in such a way where that 
it can be deconstructed and then recycled again. Um, we're also coming out with an app very soon in the next you know few months where um, you know after you purchase the shoe we tell you exactly where you can deposit the shoe and then we take that back we deconstruct it we resp responsibly you know recycle the shoe if it's like very worn out so so far we probably sold about 20000 pairs of shoes um it used to be mostly B2C, but then um, from last year, end of last year, it's mostly been B2B. You know, of course, the orders are much larger for B2B buyers, um, you know, 5,000 pairs minimum, and then that goes up all the way to like 20,000, 50,000 pairs. Um, so yeah, this, this year, we're also going to ramp up B2B and of course B2C because now we have funding to spend on marketing etc. Um, so our biggest market is America and Europe. Um, so I would say it is it is 90% 95% exports and about 5% local Indian buyers. So the USP of Thaley is uh, Thaley Techs, of course. We're the first company to use plastic bags for sneakers or to even recycle plastic bags on such a scale. Um, apart from that, it's also transparency. Uh, there's a QR code on all of our sneakers. And once you scan the QR code, you can see exactly what components go into making the shoes, what materials, what is the recycle content. You know, the, the whole journey, you can see the entire process video. So there were, there were a bunch of challenges. One was COVID, because you know, it, it, COVID came um, right when we were about to finish sampling and go into production. So it delayed us by one year. So we, we could have launched in July of 2020, but then we had to launch in July 2021. And then secondly, it was the, the availability of plastic bags. In fact, you know, we use a trillion plastic bags every year. You know, each, each person on an average uses about 150 plastic bags a year. People weren't recycling these plastic bags. It was, nobody was collecting them because there's no monetary value. Uh, you know, you can't recycle them into a, a, a viable product. And that's what we had to change. We had to work directly with waste management plants and convince them to actually, you know, uh, collect these plastic bags for us. And then we had to, you know, make this whole supply chain that did not exist before. So one of the challenges in the market that we're facing is probably, you know, just just competing with brands that are already existing. Um, they don't necessarily have to be sustainable sneaker brands, but just, you know, the Nikes, Adidas, because they have the volumes and they're also not very interested in how the shoe is made. So they're able to keep costs very down. And of course, they have very large marketing budgets. People think that because of product is recycled or sustainable, it has to be cheaper, which, you know, which I don't understand because there's more work that goes into a sustainable or recycled product than a regular product, right? Even if it's made out of plastic waste. So our goal with Thaley is to you know, be the most sustainable sneaker brand that you can buy. You know, it's, it should be the brand that you should think about when you think about sustainable sneakers. We also want to sell the fabric uh, to other brands. So, you know, it's, it's, we're not just, you know, the impact is much larger. We want to have more stores in new countries. So by this year, we might have two stores, um, in, one in France and one in Dubai, most probably. Um, and 
For this year, our goal is to make about 26 crores in revenue. Um, and I think, I think we're on the way to achieve that, yeah. Alarmed by the sheer scale of plastic waste, Asha and Hawaii set out to help repurpose some of the 100 billion plastic bags made every year.